Hey, this video is for you if you're in a committed baseball family, you're a parent of a, in a committed baseball family like me. I'm Dr. Tom Hanson. I have a 12-year-old son who's playing travel ball. He might have a, tw uh, a travel ball or a high school or college or professional player as uh, a son. And what I want to know, I, I'm just going to make this program. I've got an offer where, that I'm only going to have five of them available at, this, at the price I'm going to offer it. And I'm going to take a moment here just to explain what it is, and then I'll go back uh, and explain it a little bit deeper. But I wanted, I've got a program I'm calling it The Best for My Son. I find that what parents really want is the best for their son. I want the best. It's, it isn't like, oh, my, you know, what do you most what, want for your son? I just want him to keep his hands inside the ball, or I just want him to have, a, have an efficient delivery. There's something bigger, right? That's that's an experience you want to have him have his best shot at making his dream come true and have a great time and learn life success skills along the way. Set him up for a great life whenever baseball ends. And the key element to that, in my experience, is the relationships. Is relationship the mental game in particular, but in particular the specifically the relationships and so what I'm offering here is uh, an opportunity for the three of you two parents and the player to take an assessment. So the parents will take uh, uh, a specific parenting assessment and the player will take a more extensive one that includes things for his playing and I'll tell you what we'll find out in just a moment um, but then we'll you'll get the report written reports and then you'll also get an hour on the phone with me and we can record it so that you can have it um, and listen to it over and over where I go through and say, well, given your parenting style, your underlying behavioral style, and given his, here's some things to keep in mind. Here's what will, will work. Here's what your natural tendency will be to go like this. But because his natural style is like this, Here's how that will land. And so here's some things to keep in mind while you're interacting with your son. So closest I've come to being able to say things uh, that can be ex extraordinarily helpful. Very helpful, yes. I can say generally be positive. But it's really the dynamic. What should I say, for example, I get asked in the car after he plays badly on the way home? Well, I don't know. I, I've got some ideas or directions I could point to. But if I know what your styles are, then I can give very targeted um, feedback to you and coaching uh, for him about, well, here's, here's what you got to know about your parents. This is their style. They're coming from this. And so when they say this, here's where it's coming from. So just that kind of awareness is extraordinary. There's things that I, I've learned for, for me in terms of my own style, like uh, with with in my relationship with my wife, that's the other benefit is you're going to find out about your stuff about your partner that, oh my gosh, that's it's just hugely helpful. It's, it's like if you take slow motion video of your son's pitching or hitting mechanics and it's like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that he was doing that. And they show it to your son and the coach said, see this? Oh, right. That's what's happening. That's what's going on. Well, this is that for the mental game and for the relationship. And the relationship sets the context for everything. The context for what your kid's experience is like in baseball is largely, largely set by his relationship with you. The emotional context that you set. Player or manager of the year, Joe Madden, um, talks about it in terms of well, what what. What was the key for you? Why you win manager of the year three times? Now he goes to the Cubs, wins manager of the year. Oh, the first thing is relationships. It's all about relationships and trust because you got to focus on that first and that's fundamental because once you get really good relationships and trust, then everything and anything is possible. But without that, almost nothing is possible. So while the focus of your coaching and parenting tends to be mechanics and outcomes, that's all done inside the context of the relationship. So I, I, I don't know if people are actually interested in that. What sells online is like mechanics. So that might just be where people are at. But I wanted to make this offer. And again, there's only going to be five of them. And it's only like $100 to do this. It's really essentially marketing research for me. And see, are people really interested in this? 
or not because it's it'll be a few hundred dollars more than that um, down the road uh, but I just wanted to throw this kind of out there and see if people thought that would be valuable so um, the way it will work again I'll send you, an e you, you know, go through and buy the thing uh, with the links below and then you will be sent in a separate email. It's not set up to be automatic, but we'll send you e e an email with three links in it, one for each parent and then one for the player to take. You take those, you get reports right away in your email, and then we'll set up a time when we can sit on the phone and, and I will go through and answer any questions that you have. But really, it's hard to even know what questions you could ask until I go through that with you to see, well, here's what you need to know about you, parent A, parent B, parent C, here's the dynamics of how they're going to interact. So here's what will work, um, and here's what to look out for in the relationship. Because if, if you, like me, my, my big goals are play great, help people play great, perform great, whether they be players or parents or coaches. Uh, perform great, um, enjoy. You just think of the time you spend and the money that you spend in baseball. You want to enjoy it and learn life success skills. Learn things that will put you, particularly I think, put your son in a position to have a great life in and out of baseball. Baseball is going to end at some point. So um, you want him to have baseball be a transformational experience where it's like, well, because I played baseball and because I did this, I learned this, my life is 10 times what it would have been otherwise. And that's, that's what I'm really playing for. So, but I don't know if people are actually interested in that. So, um, if you are, um, if you have a question, something I'm not, I'm not addressing that I'm not thinking of, um, shoot me an email and ask a question. Um, otherwise, just click and sign up, or otherwise, just click and go go on your way um, if that's where you're at. But again, for, for it'll be a big emphasis on behavior, but also for your son, the big thing is like, well, how good is his mental game? What kind of processors are running? How confident? What's his baseball self worth? Is he um, is his uh, is he his stats? Like he thinks he's his stats. Like he's a good he's a good person if he does well, and he's a bad person if he does poorly. How is he playing now? What's the dynamic of his present moment? What's his future self when he thinks of himself at the unconscious level? He says, "Hey, I know he wants to play in the major leagues, but as he, as his unconscious thinks about, does it see him there or does it not see him there?" And that's huge. Um, how good of a team chemistry guy, how what's his relationship with mechanics, does he understand the big picture of baseball, the, how is he as a team player, um, confidence, mental toughness, it's pretty staggering what you actually learn from this. So um, if only that, to me, it's more than worth what you're investing. But the big focus that I want to give is that relationship because it just sets the context for the whole thing. So... Um, there, I probably missed some stuff, but I was already spoke longer than I wanted to. If you're still here, um, thanks for your interest, and let me know what questions you have, or just sign up, and uh, I'll look forward to it. I think it's going to be really cool.